this is Vagish Dvivedi and today I am going to talk about the DevNet certification course. Why every network engineer should do it and how to transform from a network engineer to a DevNet engineer. So to get started let us look at the network engineers of today. Where have we come from and how to transition? The network engineer today is highly skilled and certified which has made him very successful so far. Layer 2 concepts like spanning tree protocols, the ether channels are something that the engineers have been using day in day out. Layer 3 concepts like routing protocols, quality of services, security, VPN designs don't scare him anymore. He can handle VIP applications like a piece of cake. He has security policies, MPLS and all other networking skills under control. Now over a period of time our network engineers have also picked up some programming skills like TCL scripts and embedded event management. All this has made a network engineer of today gain a lot of respect for himself. These skills made sense till the network looked like this. When network had routers and switches and servers connected to switches. Network looked simple. It was physical. We could touch and feel the network. But over a period of time, our network started to evolve. Virtualization came into existence. Virtual machines and virtual switches started to become a part of the network. Well, at this point of time, the network engineer started saying, we switches, they are not real, it's software. Let the server guys handle it. Nobody's going to put any critical stuff on the virtual machines anyway. So let us focus on routers and switches which is the real important network here. Well, it didn't stop with vSwitches. Later we had LBRs, the Linux bridges, the containers. Now the networking was happening inside the virtual machines, quite away from the routers and switches. Then the cloud came into picture and VMs started moving to the cloud. With cloud exchanges, connectivity between our data centers got redefined. Now, the virtual machines and the containers do not have any physical connectivity at all. And let's not forget the services component and the appliances, the load balancers and the firewalls and the IPSs. There is so much more into the network today. We need to accept the change. We have transitioned through multiple generations in networking. Starting with the generation where we only had to work on VLANs, spanning trees, and the campus designs. Moving into the next generation where we had routing protocols, IPv6, MPBGP, VLANs and finally moving into the disruptive generation with SDN, open flow controllers, OLA networks, white boxes introducing programmability with Python, REST APIs, NetConf, NFV and DevOps. Today impact of the cloud is leading us. We are seeing Python as new language for infrastructure automation. APIs for the network, be it REST API or new standard of NetConf and Yang, there is rapid change leading to the programmable age. This acceleration is leading to frustration. Why is there so much change? Why do I have so many technologies and languages and APIs to go through? It's okay. If you're feeling frustrated, it's okay. It means you have moved beyond denial and are ready to accept the change. So let's work out a way and see how we can tackle this and adapt to the programmable age. Let's break our journey from a network engineer to a DevNet engineer in three phases. Phase one, let's keep networking aside. Focus on some core programming skills like Python, the APIs, learn about data formats like XML, JSON and start experimenting with the Git and the GitHubs. Phase 2, start to work on Linux skills and Dockers and some of the new networking protocols like NetConf and Yang and finally in Phase 3, double up your dose on Linux networking. Linux networking being very important we move into container networking and NFV. 
with the plan in place, you will embrace programmability. Now, working on enhancing your core programming skills to become solid in Python, deepen your understanding on programmable interfaces with the REST API, start leveraging on Ansible and start using Puppet Chef to configure your network. So if you are still guessing on how to start, the DevNet course at RST Forum is designed to help you jumpstart your journey into network programmability. We have broken up the course into multiple modules to give you a solid foundation across automation and various other concepts. We will dive into programming fundamentals to discuss data formats, APIs, REST API and Python. Moving into the course, we will look at the newer network APIs, the standard technology of NetConf, the RESTConf, as well as the NX API used for Nexus line of products. Moving on, we will also cover network controller fundamentals and also use of DNA and AP controllers. We will also discuss application hosting that teaches how to use network as an application platform. We will understand how to build the entire application into the network with IOX. Lastly, we will understand network DevOps, how to use it and configuration management. So what are you waiting for? Start your DevNet journey at RST Forum today.